have been warned that a devastating food crisis would hit the entire planet sooner rather than later. But most of us didn't imagine things would actually escalate so quickly. The global food crisis we were told to prepare for is already upon us, and it is reaching apocalyptic proportions as problems continue to pile up. Millions of people that are already facing hunger will be pushed to the brink of starvation in the coming months. Even those who have been insulated from such problems up until this point are likely to experience food insecurity this year as shortages become far more extensive than anticipated. Farmers, industry executives and global authorities are saying that there is not going to be enough food for everyone this year, 2022. And if all of that seems too hard to believe, hopefully you'll change your mind and start preparing after you watch this video. Today, we have compiled some of the most alarming facts, estimates and predictions about the challenges we are all going to face this year. Shalom. Kal Halal Yaw Bashim Yaw Shai Bashim Rakakadash. This is your brother Moa Tawadawa. I'm coming to you again with another lesson, Lord willing. This will be edifying to those of you who are tuning in. Before we get started with this lesson, I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yaw Shai Bashim Rakakadash. Double honor said, teaches others an apostle of great millstone. Also to you, brothers, I did that put on the truth, faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep. And to you, brothers and sisters, are tuning in. Shalom. We're going to first start off with the book of Ezekiel 5, start with verse 14. It says, Moreover, I will make thee waste and reproach among the nations that are around about thee in the sight of all that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt and an instruction and astonishment unto the nations that are around about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebuke. I, the Lord, how about Shimei Ashai, have spoken it when I shall send upon thee evil arrows of famine which shall be for their destruction and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. So I will send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, I have spoken it. Now we are at a time right now where the big headlines which you're seeing today is about what? The food crisis. And how is this food crisis coming about? Because you have a war crisis that's going on right now. Whether it's a proxy war or not, it is going on. And we also have something that is, that is called the gas prices, okay? Now all of these things that are, that are combined together is bringing that great tribulation that's going to be part of Jacob's trouble, okay? And who's going to be impacted by this first? It's of course going to be Jacob, okay? Yasharala, Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blast Latinos and Native Americans. Now, Esau has a historical uh, habit of taking food uh, from the poor, okay? And using food for the using food as a weapon uh, against these poor countries, and we are as a nation as Israel, Esau is set to do that just that again here right now. This is not a coincidence that all of the things that you see going on uh, is happening, and the people that are impacted most is going to be us, so-called you know blacks, Native American, and Latinos. Okay, now this. The Ezekiel 5 and 14, which are 5 and 47 verse 14, which I uh, just read to you, that was the past there when, when the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Hashai, had judged us, okay, for being wicked, okay, for disobeying him, okay, and the nations at that time was looking at us and going, how the hell we go from being, you know, the most powerful nation, you know, of kings and princesses, you know, to being brought down so low, you know, and starving and pestilence. Now we have, we can look forward today, here at the present time in 2022, and we do have these same nations around us, okay? Because we are here, okay, in uh, in Egypt, okay, spiritual Egypt and Sodom, okay? But we are set up here, okay, as Jerusalem, okay? As a children of uh, as a children of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And these nations are going to be in awe when they look and see, okay, that even uh, the best of us, okay, those of us who are not covered by the house of David are going to fall prey to this great famine that's going to be coming here. And that includes all of these rich pastors, okay, these celebrities, all those people who are joining Esau hand in hand, okay? This is the book of Proverbs here because the Lord Yahweh Shimei Hashai will not be mocked and he is going to, okay, give every man according to his work. And this is Proverbs 1, 
Psalm verse 23 and 24, Salakia, and it says, because I have called and he refused. And who has he called? He has called the children of Israel. Okay? Those two thirds who are there who, are, who, are, who have not hearkened, they have refused. Okay? And it says, I have stretched out my hand, meaning what? He's used men to go out there on the highways and the byways to put videos, to give up everything in their life to go and bring out this message, to bring out this truth, this gospel, okay? In every kind of way that we can possibly think of. We put cartoon pictures, we put movie clips, we bring out the news articles, we bring out the scriptures, we use our own personal experience, okay? Whatever it takes to try to relate to Jake that, look here, this place is not your place of rest. You're going to be destroyed, okay? And it says, I have stretched with my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set a knot, all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. Meaning that they don't listen to the fact that we are telling them, look, we have been wicked. We deserve everything that we got. All the slaveries that we've gone through, all of the persecution, okay, and oppression that we've gotten, we earn those. We earn those, okay? But now is the time when the Lord, Yahweh, Shemi, Hashem, is stretching in the sand saying, look here, come back to me, my children. Come back to me, okay? I will accept you back now, okay? And this is our only opportunity that we will have, okay? But a lot of you don't want to do it out there. And it says, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. Now somebody will say, well, how is the Lord, the great, powerful, almighty, omnipotent God is going to be laughing at us? No, he's not going to be coming down and laughing at you. He's going to be laughing at you through his man, through his servant. Okay? The men who are in the house of David. Okay? Lord willing, I'm one of them and, and all the other brothers are there that are doing the work. Okay? We're going to laugh at you. We're going to say, see, we told you. The scripture says it and now it's happening to you and we will have no pity on you. Okay? That's how he's going to be laughing. He's going to be laughing to his servants. And it says, When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when the stress and anguish cometh upon you. Now, we've seen this destruction. We've seen this anguish. We've seen this, this famine come upon, okay, uh, the tribe of Levi. Oh, you can look at Haiti. Okay, you go down to the Caribbean islands, the tribe of Benjamin. I mean, people are, people are really having a hard time. You think a hard time here in America? Okay, you should see what inflation looked like in those nations. Okay, and Haiti has always been a troubled place. Now, Esau likes to mock, uh, you know, poor nations. Okay, and, he, and as I said earlier, he's used food as a weapon. This is the reason why you have all these tribulations across the earth with these other nations where they're fighting against each other. Because what? Esau goes in the, in the guise that he's dropping off food, when in reality, he's dropping off notes and, and he's dropping off uh, weapons. Okay. And he's already got his, his so-called uh, warlord on the ground that is going to be handling the food, okay? Then he puts it out in the news that these people are savages, okay? You can see here in, in one of the pictures that you see I put on this PowerPoint, okay, that people in desperation, what did Esau do? Esau says he's helping them, but then the, the title says Des desperation. Now, this is coming from the Chinese uh, the Chinese newspaper. So them fucking gooks over there have the nerve to talk shit, but see, they're going to get theirs too, all right? They're going to get there soon. Let's see how civilized they're going to act when there is nothing to eat and every man for himself, okay? Now, going back into the scriptures again, and it says, when fear coming as a desolation, your destruction coming as a whirlwind, so it's going to become real fast when the stress and anguish come upon you because our people simply is not going to understand how the hell do, do, do. I was just stuffing my face you know, last year or a few months ago, and here it is right now, I can't afford to get anything. Now, those of our people that own welfare, because I'm, I'm not even dealing with these Edomites on welfare in these other nations. I could give two craps about you, okay? We're talking about warning the tribe of Israel, you so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans out there, okay? Those that don't want to hark and those who don't want to listen, we're telling you what's going to happen here, okay? Welfare is going to be cut. You think these Edomites working their ass off is going to be looking at you getting that free doggone food or getting that free uh, food stamp or whatever EBD card they have for you right now? Absolutely not. They're going to cut that off, okay? That is going to be cut off. How about you? is going to put the spirit in these devils to cut that off, okay? Because again, they're trying to bring their universal uh, income. They're trying to bring their universal government. Okay, call the NWO, which we know the, the new world order is really going to be when Yahweh Shai returns and set up a righteous uh, uh, kingdom on this and destroy this queen, this current queendom that's ruining the earth. Okay, so you're eating free right now. You're fat. You're obese, and that's a big thing right there. The magazines covering it. You get the the fat celebrities, and you get the fat shows, and you know they're bringing it all out there. You know Esau turns around and he puts on his his skits on Saturday Night Live. You know, making it look like they're starving and what it's like to be starving and naked and all that stuff. But guess what? Okay, as you can see here in that uh, 
in a, a one clip there where I put with Stab and Marvin, this was a, a, a show, South Park show that made a, a, a fun of, you know, this uh, starving kid, okay? And he happens to be a brown skin, a brown skin kid, okay? Most likely a Jake, okay? And they're making fun of it, starving Marvin. Well, here's his message to the Edomites. You are gonna become the new starving Marvin, okay? You are gonna become the new star, starving Marvin. Yahweh Bashim Yahashah is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you will also reap, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, all right? Let's go into the book of Isaiah 3, sound verse one, it says, uh, for behold, the Lord, the Lord, how about Shimei Ashai of hosts, don't take away from Jerusalem. Who's Jerusalem? Okay, we're, we're Jerusalem. Okay, the 12 tribe of Israel is right here. Okay, we are just we are just scattered, but the 12 tribe of Israel is right here. So called blacks, Native American, Latinos, right here. This is Jerusalem. Okay, and from Judah, the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. Okay. So why 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 were we given specific warning about this? Okay, because when you look at the fact that we have never followed the dietary plan, okay, we have continuously followed the ways of these other nations, eating all the abominable food, okay, practicing gluttony, okay, and I'm not even going to bring a mention here uh, all, all the abominable things that we do, okay, as a tribe of Israel, okay, because this is really focused on the on the great famine, food, because if one thing Jake likes to do is eat, okay. And it says, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet, the prudent and the ancient, the captain of 50 and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning antisipher and the eloquent orator. That means what? It doesn't matter what your status is in, as, as a Hebrew Israelite, you will, we will get that doggone judgment on us unless you are in the house of David. So it doesn't matter if you're in the military, doesn't matter if you're in Congress, doesn't matter if you're a doggone bishop, okay? or elder or priest or celebrity whatever the case is like that we have to go through these curses and we have to get this suffering that is what is going to happen okay now let's get back to Esau here for a little bit here okay because Esau is undisciplined and what you have to understand about this is that Esau these Edomites now remember Esau okay he didn't even wait okay for the red potter to be cooked from Jacob before he sold his birthright okay and now he's he's pissed about it. So that tells you what, when someone can't even wait till the food is cooked and eating it raw, and we can see the way they eat their steak and just about every doggone thing, okay? That means what? You think that these Edomites are gonna wait until these uh, you know, young chicken or these young sheep or these young goats or the, the young pigs or the or the plants, even the plant, even the plants to even grow, to even yield the fruits or the vegetables. No, people are gonna be running and raiding those farms before anything can even grow, even digging the seed out of the ground. They're gonna be waiting there, waiting for any of the animals trying to give birth. They can just grab the grab the young one or the, or the placenta and just eat it. This is what these eat because these Edomites are gonna go back to what they really are, which is Sasquatch, cave, cro magnon men and women. Okay, so Jake, you've got something. You've got some serious, serious trouble coming here. Okay. This is the book of Job here because this is serious here when you take it, when you, when you, when you sit down and consider this, okay? This is the book of Job, uh, 5, 7, verse 19, it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Who he's talking about? He's talking about the hopefully elect, okay? The one-third of Israel. Yea, in seven, there shall be no evil to touch thee. And it says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death. So, the famine that Yahweh Shemi is putting on Edom, okay? Great Babylon, America, okay, the fattest, most ruthless, vile nation, sickest, decrepit, abominable nation ever to exist, okay? I put these pictures up here, and it's not to make fun of these obese people. What I'm telling these, what, what this is, is a show, okay? Just how vile and disgusting this place is that people cannot even discipline themselves, okay? And they're about to go through the best diet plan they will ever witness in their entire life, in this type of life, before they regenerate back into the kingdom as dug on slaves, okay? And you... Uh, Hebrew Israelites, you two thirds, okay, generate regenerate back as what you're supposed to be, the righteous, okay. And it says, in famine he shall redeem thee from that, and in war from the power of the sword. Why is that? I just explained to you. These Edomites are going to kill whatever they see out there to go get their hands on those food, okay. They're not even going to allow the animals them to even grow up, the food, the trees them to bear fruit, nothing. They're just going to eat every doggone thing they see, and next is going to be coming after you. You think those zombie movies are uh, 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 made to entertain you? No, they're telling you what happens, okay? When people are desperate, when they're hungry, and their brain isn't functioning well, they go into just what? They're looking for just one thing, and that is to eat. And that's why zombies always looking to do what? Bite you, okay? And it says, 
Thou should be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Why are we not going to be afraid of destruction when it cometh? Because we understand that it is coming. Okay, do we still have to eat? Yes, we still eat. We still have to work? Yes. Do we still have to pay bills? Yes, we're still in captivity under bondage under this man. But we understand, okay, and believe the true word from Yahweh Shimei Ashai of these things to come. So this is always in the back of your head. I know it's in the back of my head 24 7. No matter what I have to do in life, this is constantly in the back of my head, and you can see it manifesting, okay? And it says, a destruction of famine thou shalt laugh. Why are we laughing? Because we told you so. We're in the house of David. We're looking out, we're looking out there at you. We can hear your screams. Esau's chasing you with a dug on sword. Okay, you're chasing Esau with a sword. Esau's chasing you. Esau's got bigger guns than you. Esau's looking to eat you. Esau's kids are going to eat you. Okay? So we're going to be laughing at you, man, because this is going to be the true walking dead horror show. We're going to see with our own eyes and we understand what's happening. Okay? Because there's different levels of how this is going to go, okay? You think the elites are going to experience this? No. You think, you know, the really rich are going to experience this? No. This is really going to be for the poor. And who's the poor? Yasharala, the so-called Native American, Latinos, and Negroes in this nation. We're poor, okay? And, okay, it doesn't matter if you get millions of dollars or that. That's still considered poor when you look at the people who actually really controls this earth and the people who actually run and show, running the show, all right? And it says... A destruction and famine thou shall laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Yeah, these animals are gonna be competing with you too for food. If any of you have ever been picked uh, pecked by a bird, then you will know. Imagine when an eagle or one of those vultures peck you in the head, okay? I've been pecked by birds when I was, you know, little, okay? I've been pecked and it hurts, okay? So imagine, okay, dogs getting them packed and then, you know, you know, they get becoming feral cats, everything. Not to tell all the zoo animals escaping, all these exotic snakes that, that uh, that's not you know, native to, 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 to Babylon, America, okay, and all these other exotic animals, and they start breeding, and they start going to there, it's going to be crazy, it's, you, you, can, you can just imagine, okay, what this is going to be like, because everybody, including Adam, is going to be competing for food, kids are going to become food for dogs and birds, okay, and when I say birds, I'm talking like big birds, okay, and it says, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field should be at peace with thee, so we will not have to worry about the pack of dogs, okay? A barrel coming after us to eat us, okay? We don't have to worry about El Gato, you know, the cat coming after us to kill us. Or, you know, all the, all the other exotic animals here, how about Shemi is gonna create to put vengeance out here. So all these troubles are gonna be coming all at once. Food, okay, which is the great famine, war and pestilence, okay, is going on at the same time. And you've got the sword. The sword is gonna be domestic and international, okay? All over this earth. But mainly this message is for the Hebrew Israelites, okay? The so-called Native American, Latinos, and Negroes, okay? That's here in Great Babylon and also across the earth that may be hearing this message here. Be prepared, okay? This man is not your friend. He cannot save you. The only savior that we have is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? And our king that is coming back, Yahweh Shai, all right? So Lord willing, you were edified. I just thought I'd bring this up because we've seen this in the headline right now. Um, you know, you've seen just the price of everything like that. You know, uh, I go out in Texas and guess what? You know, people out there are complaining about $4 and 15 cent gas. I said, well, really? Then you should be living in California where it sounds $7, okay? So people from those states, from the states of California and New York, I mean, it's a bargain to be in these other places, okay? But that's just the beginning of the sorrow. So if they can't handle that at this level, what happens when, you know, you know the, 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 the prices on these Southern states in these mid states become what the prices are for these big states in like California and New York. You people are in for some serious health, okay? And there's hell to pay, all right? So I'd like to close up by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakadash, double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone, also to you brothers and sisters out there that are tuning in. So like you, also to you brothers out there that are putting up the truth faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep, and you brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Shalom.